Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the numbers don't lie. No, but everybody's going to get mad at you for it anyway. They're going to get mad at us for posting numbers. Yeah, we're going to talk about, do a follow-up video on uh, animation in the cartoon industry. And I found an article on Cartoon Brew from about a year ago talking about the decline of Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, and Cartoon Network, how they've basically dropped off a cliff. Mm -hmm. The kids are not watching these networks. And you can blame streaming to some extent. In fact, we'll talk about that, that Netflix is actually uh, doing really, really well with anime. Right, but, you can blame streaming to some extent, but all these channels are available on streaming. Yes, uh, I think what's going on is that kids are tuning out. They're not interested in the content. My kids don't watch these. My kids watch anime. Well, yeah. Pinky Boo, Squid King doesn't really watch any of this stuff anyway. He watches things like, you know what, you guys are watching. Oh, he watches on HBO Max. He watches a lot of sci-fi. Yeah, he, he doesn't do yeah. cartoons no matter what. But Pinky Boo does. And a lot of times she just watches stuff that are things she loved from before that she can watch on, we already have you know, saved or we own. Or she watches anime. Yeah, um, and that does seem to be a trend. Now, you know, there are a lot of takeaways, I think, from this. Uh, but of course, you know, you put numbers out there and you're immediately uh, labeled an ist and a phobe and a hater. And it's funny because these are not, this is not our data. No, it's not our data. I had to correct somebody. Uh, somebody said that, uh, you know, I hate Clownfish TV. They're just a bunch of right wing bigots. And I'm like, the numbers actually came from Cartoon Brew via Nielsen's ratings. But if you want to argue. Right. Plus, we also at right wing. But whatever. Whatever. Keep going on there, dumbass. Anyway, go ahead. But I put this out last night after we posted the video talking about how the modern cartoon industry and Cartoon Network in particular no longer produces cartoons for kids or cartoons for young adults. Yeah, pretty much. And I didn't realize it had gotten that many likes over 2,000 mm -hmm. likes. So apparently a lot of people are interested in these numbers. So we're going to talk more about it. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 160,000 subs. Yay! That's a lot of Yahtzees. Right, you know. So many Yahtzees. And uh, check out our store at shopclownfish.com. We've only got a couple days left on the pin pre-orders. And uh, there's no guarantee we're going to have any in the store after the orders are fulfilled. I have right. no idea how many, but uh, I think we've got like four days. Yeah, four days left. Oh, on four, these. About four and a half days. Yeah, so check it out. Shopclownfish.com. I will put a link in the description and in the uh, comments section. So yeah, these numbers actually came from Cartoon Brew. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about the decline in Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, and Cartoon Network. And this is despite there being shows on these networks that Twitter claims are incredibly popular. Right, right. But this is also from 2018, though. So the numbers continue to decline. If you go out to the Chicago Tribune, again, a bunch of uh, alt-right Yahtzees mm -hmm. who are just making stuff up, you can see that the numbers continue to slide. As of uh, April 2020, the numbers were sliding. It slid 3% from the comparable week in March 2019. And that was after it slid before that. Right. So we're seeing a downward trend and they're blaming streaming. We're going to talk about that because there's more going on, I think, than just streaming. I think it's also the kind of content that they're producing. Well, they're saying viewership for the channels among 2 to 11 year olds has been plummeting. An average of 25% since the start of 2020. Now, of course, that was before the stay at home. That might have raised it some because kids were at home. But kids weren't watching them. Kids were not watching this because it's not for kids. That's what we've been trying to say. Like these cartoon shows, yeah, they might have a large following on Twitter with large teens. Large quotes. Yeah. Quote, Local minority of following on Twitter. Right. With, with uh, teens and young adults in Portland, like we were saying. But kids... Kids are tuning out. They're not watching network TV. They're not watching these shows. Well, obviously, it's for them because 2 to 11-year-olds are always obsessed with prom. Yeah, they are. So clearly, it's for the 2 to 11-year-olds. Uh, 2 to 11-year-olds, uh, all they care about is how gay their shows are and That's their right. ships. And what their um, pronouns are. And what their pronouns are. Like Steven Universe, you know, telling us about our pronouns. You have to, uh, again, these shows, these networks are no longer for children. And uh, either that or the parents are pulling the plug. But it's, you know what? Fine. If it's not for children, that's fine. But don't say that it is. I right. guess that's my, where I'm standing. If you're going to make this up, that's that's cool. But stop saying it's for the children because it's not. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that. There are a lot of things chipping away at it. And again, you know, people are blaming 
streaming. I think if you have they're good... They're blaming us, which is hilarious. They're blaming us. They're blaming we us. We have that much power, guys. We control the numbers from ratings and stuff that were done two years prior before we even started really doing YouTube. That's right. We have that much control. We can go back in time and control the numbers. But this was uh, put up uh, about two years ago. This is when the, the decline became so bad that you could no longer ignore it. Mm -hmm. And Cartoon Brew put it out there and they said, hey, there's a problem that Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and Disney are losing eyeballs like crazy. And we know this, this is the case because they're panicking and everybody is putting all their eggs into the streaming basket trying to, mm -hmm. to play catch up with Netflix. And we're going to talk about Netflix and what is actually the most streamed animated content on Netflix. And hint, it's not the kinds of shows Right. That would be on any of these networks. Exactly. But, you know, but again, I just love it. People are just all butt hurt because we put we put facts out there and then somehow it's our fault. I, I, know, I right? love this. It's like you're telling me what I don't want to hear with factual data. You're a horrible outright Yahtzee. And it's like, what? You, know, it's, you can't make this level of stupidity I, up. I'm just I'm floored. I mean, this is this is it. When you can't argue intelligently, you just call people names. When you think, does it hurt? Anyway, continue. I'm sorry. Did you burn out the rest of your brain cells? Uh, this is coming from Cartoon Brew. Again, one of the most respected websites in the animation industry. And they were calling it a couple of years ago. And, uh, you know, other reputable news outlets, including the Tribune, are are calling it out now. That it's it's definitely a downward. I mean, look at Nickelodeon off of freaking, you know, Cartoon Network. Virtually no viewers. I mean, this is pathetic you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of like science proves that you need oxygen to survive no i don't i need love and friendship i need love and friendship science proves you need oxygen to survive look the chicago tribune has backed scientists and said that you need oxygen to survive well the tribune review is all right i don't need oxygen i just need love and friendship <laughs> that's what this reminds me of Speaking of love and friendship, uh, you know, it doesn't look like these shows that are pushing the love and friendship to young adult audiences are really helping any of these networks. I mean, isn't this, a, should we have a, a Stephen Baum big uptick you know what, here? Do you know what I find so funny? And the, you know, around the time, this is, the chart's proving it's all around the same time that this stuff happened, is that they went with this whole, this whole idea that, you know, the power of love and friendship defeats all evil. But the people that are, like, going on about, they love these shows because they're so accepting and the power of love and friendship, you think would be the ones who would be out there being the most accepting people out there. But they're not. Instead, if you don't like their cartoon show, they try to bully you off the internet, try to tell you to kill yourself, we know from fact. Yep. And then they tell you, and then they do everything they can to be as, you know, bigoted, hypocritical, and unaccepting as anybody I've ever seen. But they're, they are the voice of reason and acceptance, as long as you believe and agree with what they say. And they wonder why their numbers keep declining. Well, when you go around threatening showrunners, when you go around telling people to kill themselves because they don't like your prom episode that you like, uh, maybe you're going to like you know lose some people that who might have agreed with you at one point. Love and friendship, my ass. Yeah, don't don't tempt people though. Don't some, tempt people with love and friendship of my ass. Love and friendship of, of your ass. But my ass is not love and friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Her ass is ready for a fight. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, look, these are the current shows on Cartoon Network. And we talked about this in the previous video. Other than Teen Titans Go, maybe Mau Mau, uh, Ben 10's an abomination. Which of these shows are actually for kids, something that kids would be interested in? Ninjago, but they're not the trending ones. Yeah, I mean, these are. this is what's currently being made, right? It's That's why they're like, they turned it into the Teen Titans Go Network. They probably did because that's the only show that's packing them in, that's, that's actually attracting and keeping kids. Well, you like to pack in love and friendship when you're talking about... People's asses? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. So anyway, Teen Titans Go, that's how I, I, I personally think that the network execs were looking at this and were like, yeah, there's a place for Steven Universe. There's a place for, you know, some of this other stuff. But Teen Titans Go is cheap to make. It's popular and the advertisers, you know, go for it. I don't know. All I know is the numbers are showing that this stuff is just falling off a cliff. And as, and as far as it being streaming, these places are shifting to streaming. They've been shifting to streaming and it's the numbers are still down. Now, they might go up this year because people were trapped in their house. And, yeah. you know, people, parents have to still work. So they were sticking their kids in front of a TV and saying, here, watch this while I go do my job. 
Um, and it's, I'm not judging anyone because I understand that. I mean, what, you gonna, what else are you going to do? You know, you still have to work, some of you. So <laughs> some of you, um, yeah, some, some, some don't work and never have worked. Or no, but I met some people, some people with jobs, it. they couldn't work from home. Yeah, no, no, so They no. were just laid off. And I mean, they might've been more engaged, um, than, you know, parents who just, you know, had to work and then, the, you know, there's, I, I'm not judging anyone for that because I understand it. But um, we might see an increase. And what they'll do is like, see, see, there's an increase. There's an increase because people are locked in their damn houses and they had no choice. Well, there's an increase on Netflix. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. But this is um, last fall. And this is before the pandemic. YouTube and Netflix are more loved by U.S. kids. Again, coming from Cartoon Brew than Nickelodeon, Disney, and Cartoon Network. I am telling you this is true. My daughter, okay, my daughter would have been like... Uh, not a teenager last year. Yeah. And when this was done, and, and, and her go to for what she watches is is anime and YouTube. Always. Anime, YouTube. Sometimes she's on Netflix or whatever, but most always it's YouTube. But I say first choice. Anime is a strong, is her, her, her next go to. And then maybe she'll watch other things, but YouTube for sure. And it's been that way. I mean, our kids grew up with YouTube. They mm -hmm. uh, they used to watch YouTube back in like during the Annoying Orange era and the Fred era before school. They would watch YouTube. You know, uh, Markiplier, when he was first starting, I know uh, Squid King used to watch him. And that's kind of what they grew up with. They, they grew up with, yeah, they grew up with, you know, TV on demand. And YouTube basically is kind of that, uh, I guess, scruffy, scruffy uh, DIY channel that, that Nickelodeon used to be. Nickelodeon used to be like the anti-Disney channel. And they, they would do stuff that Disney would never dream of. Well, but. this is interesting to me. YouTube went up seven spots on, in Kidfinity. Mm -hmm. uh, Netflix went down five as number seven. Nickelodeon is number 28, or number eight, uh, 34 went down 28. Disney Channel is number 47, went down 38. It goes down, it goes down. Then you get to Cartoon Network. It's number 70 flipping two, and it went down 55 spots. Yeah, and Disney XD. 72. Disney XD's. 117. Disney XD is, you know, again, you know, you talk about the anime shows, you have DuckTales and, uh, you so know, Amphibia and all this Why do they stuff. keep targeting YouTubers? Why are these places that really keep going out saying YouTube bad, YouTube bad, we have to stop it. We have to put measurements in play and all this other stuff. Uh, measures, not measurements. Measures in play and all this stuff. It's because we're going, it's going up seven spots, number one. Cartoon yeah. Network dropped 55 to 72. Yeah. And, uh, you know, again, you can blame streaming for some of that. I mean, geez, all the all the cartoon show networks that they have for kids are 34 and lower on the rankings. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Oh, my God. Universal Kids is 295. Uh, well, kids obviously aren't watching ESPN much. But still, I mean, this is, you know, yeah, I think you're right. I think this is why YouTubers are being targeted like they are. Um, because, you know, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney Channel used to be the kid brands. I mean, for decades, it was like, that's where kids went. Nickelodeon was edgier, and then, you know, we had Disney, and then Cartoon Network was, it had some really good shit in it the 90s It seems like most of the kids are, are sticking with Nickelodeon of everything else, though. And here's the thing, SpongeBob. it's like, it's, well, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, here's the thing, though. Kids, one, aren't stupid, and these people keep trying to act like kids are dumb. Yeah. Um, kids aren't stupid. Um... You know, also, you're not making stuff that kids want to watch. And that's what keeps happening. You're not greenlining the stuff kids want to see. No. And there were also, you know, the parents could be tuning out, right? Because these networks, especially, you know, Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, they did the uh, the silence promo, whatever. And, you know, we've got Cartoon Network going all in with these PSAs. And, you know, when you're going to plop your, you know, five-year-old in front of the TV, you're going to be like, what is going on here? But I know with Nickelodeon, the, the BLM messaging backfired. Parents were horrified. They're like, you scared the shit out of my kids. Oh, They're yeah. Like, but they 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 doubled down on it. They said, no, we meant to scare the shit out of your kids. And the parents are like, fine. Our kids aren't watching your network anymore. Right. And you know what? They're not counting out here, too. How many kids are just switching to playing video games? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like kids, I have time. What am I going to do? I'm going to go play. I'm going to go play Fortnite with my friends instead of watching your shitty preachy show. Yep. I'm going to go um, with my fellow squeakers and call you every swear word we could think of before we get banned for, you know. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, Netflix is killing it with anime. Because here, again, it's not just the platform. It's also the content. They're not saying Netflix is killing it with She-Ra or Netflix is killing it with Kippo and the Wonder Beast. No, Netflix doubled the anime viewership. Right. Because anime is flipping good for the most part. 
I mean, I'm sorry. Some of these other shows, are, I'm not saying all these shows are bad either. I'm not saying that. Um, they could be good shows. And especially if they're original thing, I'll, I'll give it way more points if it's an original thing and it, it's its own thing. That like mm-hmm. shows like Thundercats Roar and she got will get because they just bastardized something else. But, you know, there it's, it's better stories, better art. Mm-hmm. It's just better in general. Uh, I'm sorry. Do better. Somebody put on Twitter, and I, I, I retweeted it. They said that, uh, you know, they were asking for YA graphic novels. And they're like, here's what here's what the librarians would like you to read. And they had the uh, I Am Not Starfire book. But here's my daughter actually asked me for it. And it was Demon Slayer. Oh, your daughter. <laughs> you know? I'm actually thinking I might want to go buy them, too. My daughter will read them, too. Yeah, that's that's one thing I noticed about libraries, too, libraries, too, is that they the books end up being the big ones are the ones that the libraries push. And, I mean, my daughter liked the Rene Togemar books. She mm. did. But most kids didn't, and that's what they kept pushing. Yeah. And the libraries were eating the shit up, eating it up. We at our library, they have all these things too that, it, and you and then you go look about how many times it's been checked out. They're not checked out. It's hilarious to me. They go with these agenda books, like you know, look how we're being inclusive because of the mandates, and then they're not being, they're not books that kids are taking out. No, they're yeah, they're just not. Again, it's like you've got adults that are completely out of touch trying to to dictate the content that kids watch and they're they're rejecting it this is why youtube does so well because they're uh, literally independent content creators have a better handle on what kids are actually wanting you know and and they have the means to 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 produce it and get it out there well it doesn't help either like the libraries are buying these 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 agenda driven books and mm. no one's taking checking them out and they're saying they're doing it to be representative and then the people that they're representing a lot of times they won't check it out either because they're like well i wanted the other stuff i want the demon slayer too yeah you know? right. i'm just like you know i mean i'm sure a lot of you we have a lot of people who listen who are not you know straight white men no this you straight don't. white men no you don't um you know what i'm talking about i mean how many times have people been like well didn't you take that book because it's about you know lesbians and you're a lesbian you're like no nope. i wanted to watch i wanted to read demon slayer you know i mean yeah, right it's like <laughs> they just like because because you're these things you have to love it because if you don't you're not accepting our help that we're giving you we're not accepting that we're, you know, we're making sure you that you're you you feel heard and represented. And a lot of them are like, I never asked you to, and your and your stuff's shit. I still want a demon slayer. <laughs> you know, it's like they don't uh, mention that. Yeah, I mean, this is again, you got a lot of uh, white academics and TV execs trying to uh, tell minorities. I don't want to be accused of being, you know, anti whatever. As I tell minorities what to think, and right? What as to I watch use them and, as a shield. Yeah. Because if yeah. you don't like my show, it's not because it's a shitty show. It's because. Uh, you you must be against people that like this. Here's here's my friend. You know, let's make a name. Here's my friend Steve, and he's you know not white, and he's he's gay, and you clearly hate Steve if you don't like my show. It's like I don't hate Steve. I don't even know Steve. Um, Steve might be cool. I just don't like your show because it sucks. Well, you still hate Steve. Yeah. You said you didn't like prom. You hate Steve over here. And Steve's sitting here like, why the hell are you using me? I hated your show too. Shut the fuck up. Well, Sorry, we, mom. We get that. We actually get people come into, you know, Twitter discussions or in the comments on YouTube saying the same things we're saying. They're not straight white Yahtzee men or whatever. And, and they're like, oh, you're just pretending. You're not actually black. It's you're not actually gay. Or if you are, you're just you're you're a white supremacist, even though you're. So I love black. it. You can't tell us who we are and how, uh, and you can't tell us, you know, you know what we, what to think and how to feel. You have to accept us, as we don't accept all of you. And that's what that's what the, the hypocrisy is. Just so over the top, ridiculous. I can't even. So who's the bigot again? Exactly. You know, I mean. But I mean, I, and the, the reaction to you posting numbers that are legit numbers that we didn't post, we just shared them. It wasn't our research. It was directly from the ratings. How very dare you? Yeah, I love this. The book they thought they'd sell YA. The book my daughter literally asked me for, Demon Slayer. My daughter happened. would pick that Demon Slayer book as well. Yeah, this is what set me off. Um, oh, shut up, you right-wing bigot. I can't stand Clownfish TV. And the numbers came from Cartoon Brew, which they got their shut numbers. Shut up, you right-wing bigot. We're not Boom even, hey, hey, Invader Zim. But well, one, don't insult Invader Zim. Yeah, Invader Zim's a Two, good Two, uh, we're not even right-wing, you dumbass. Oh, God. Um, oh, my God, Invader Zim. Why don't you shut up and know what you're talking about before you post on Twitter? <sighs> take it take it up with uh, the universe, I guess. I mean, the numbers don't lie. Sorry, okay. they're, they're If you vetted. want to give us that much credit, by all means, we'll take it. Fine, yeah, it was us. We control everything. We're just that powerful. That's how powerful Clownfish is. You have no idea who you're dealing with. That's right. 
Ha ha ha. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, kids are tuning out. And I think it's a variety of reasons. I, I don't think it's just streaming. I think that the shows are dog shit. I think it's, they, they'd rather go play games or do other things because their shows don't entertain them. Watch paint dry. Mm. You know. Uh, mow the lawn, do chores, yard work instead of, instead of watching these shows. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know what? That's okay. I'm sure that some of the, the ratings are going up in, in, in a young adults who live with their mom. <laughs> yes, they are in Portland. <laughs> yes. Uh, or there's seven roommates. There's seven roommates. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.